Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Anjit again. So we are in the second uh, videos of Common Doubt series. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the Ewing sarcoma IHCs. IHCs of Ewing sarcomas evolved over the past many years. The first and the initial preliminary marker which we had like like 5-6 years back was CD99. It's a decent marker, I won't say it's very bad. The problem with it is it's positive for n number of conditions so it lacks specificity. So then later on we improved and used FLY1 as a marker. FLY1 is also a very decent marker because it takes care of the pathogenesis, the translocation between EWS and FLY1. That same molecule I'm going to use it. The latest marker what you got for, got for Ewing sarcoma and Ewing's family of tumors is NKX2.1. I want you to remember this. This is the marker which I'm going to use in day to day for diagnosis. So it might come in your exam. There's one more NK is called as NKX3.3 which is useful for diagnosis of prostatic cancer. In addition to your PSA and your AMACAR, do remember this as well, fine. There are lots of videos in the playlist which is going to be uh, displayed, the link will be displayed soon. Just have a look at it and uh, keep seeing all the common doubt series just day before the exam so that it might help you. Thank you guys, see you again. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Ranjit. Bye-bye.